my name's Renee. And I'm Kay, and this is Jess. Um, we love you, we miss you. Hope you have um, a great rest of your summer and enjoy the sun show. So. Ah! Adios, amigos. I say that. <laughs>so-and-so show i'm brandon and i'm john what are we talking about today john purpose Uh uh-huh purpose and my purpose today brandon is to help you relax by providing soothing yet enjoyable sounds for you and your viewers to listen to Soothing, huh? Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Soothing. John. John. John! What? Can you can you stop? Can you take the microphone away from your face? Turn it off or something? Why? Just please do it. Fine. What's the problem? The prop you're making a bunch of mouth noises into a microphone. Well, yes, Brandon. I am. It's called ASMR, which stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. It's all the rage on the World Wide Web's mouth noises? Yeah. You got a problem with mouth noises? Everyone has a problem with mouth noises. They're gross. Well, Brandon, you're really not going to like the game I had planned. Why? It's called What's John Eating? No! The game is simple. You'll wear these headphones so you can listen to me eat food over the microphone. Then you'll use the food cards in front of you to guess what I'm chewing. Mm. You can play at home, too. Because you'll be able to hear exactly what Brandon hears. You ready, buddy? Yes. Can you hear me, Brandon? Yes. 
And let's begin. Food item number one. I don't know, a hard-boiled egg? You are incorrect. It's chocolate pudding. <laughs> Food item number two. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It, a carrot. Oh, so close. It was celery. I thought you'd get that one. Sorry, it was stringy. All right, go. Okay, okay. Food item number three. I don't know. Chocolate pudding. Wrong again. It's cereal. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, hey Kellen. Brandon doesn't like my relaxing ASMR mouth noises, and I thought it was my purpose. Kay? Kellen, please, please just move on with your story. Sure thing, ma'am. Well, today I want to talk about an incredibly brave and creative woman. In fact, there's a whole book of the Bible devoted to her story, and her name was Esther. And today we're going to tell it in another edition of Human Head Puppet Theater. Esther's people, the Jews, were living in the country of Persia because the Jewish nation had been conquered in battle. The king of Persia was a guy named... I can say my own name, thank you. Sorry, my bad. Yes, you're bad. I am Exerzexes, king of Persia. You may continue. Thanks. King Xerxes was looking for a wife, and after searching for the most beautiful woman in the kingdom, he chose, you guessed it, Esther. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Esther! Hello! I am Esther, the new queen. <laughs> a so-and-so show player. Aw, oh, man. Don't be rude. Okay. You may continue. Now, King Xerxes had an official who he placed in a very important position. That man was Haman. Did you hear that, world? I'm Haman, and I'm important. <laughs> but Haman was not a nice guy. <laughs> the king commanded that people bow down to Haman when he walked by. And everyone did. Well, almost everybody. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm walking. Hey, you! Who, me? Yes! What's your name? Why are you not bowing? Uh, oh, my name is Mordecai, and I'm not bowing because I don't want to. <gasps> oh, that makes my mustache curl! <laughs> Haman was so angry, he made a plan to get back not just at Mordecai, but all his people, the Jews. Haman convinced the king that the Jews were evil, and the king issued an order to have the entire nation wiped out. But what Haman didn't know was that Mordecai had a very famous relative. Dear Queen Esther, it's me, your cousin. The guy who practically adopted you, remember? I don't know if you know this, but the king issued a decree that all of our people 
should be wiped out on the 13th day of the 12th month. It's because of this villain, Haman. Is there anything that you can do, Mordecai? Oh. Dear Mordecai, this is horrible. But what can I do? You know there's a law that says no one can approach the king without being sent for. If I do, I could die. Although, there is a chance the king could hold out his gold scepter if I approach. If he did that, my life would be spared. But I'm not sure what to do. Esther. I know you're frightened. We all are. But you may be our only hope. This could be your purpose. Who knows? It's possible that you became queen for a time just like this. <sighs> Gather all the Jews together. Go three days without food or drink. Then I will go to the king, and if I have to die, I'll die. Mordecai did as Esther suggested. He gathered the Jews together, and they didn't eat or drink for three days. All they could do was wait and hope. On the third day, Esther went to see the king. <clears throat> king Xerxes? What? What? Esther? What is it, Queen Esther? Do you have a request? Anything you want, I'll give it to you. Um, I've prepared a feast, and I would like for you to come. Oh, and invite Haman. Food, I like food, yes, it's a date. Oh. Haman! Yes, your majesty? Queen Esther has prepared a feast. Would you like yes. to- Yes! Yes! <laughs> I'm going to eat with the king! Because I'm special! <laughs> the feast happened just as Esther had planned. It went so well that Esther asked the king and Haman back the next day for a second feast. That's when she made her move. Hmm. What a delicious feast, my queen. Now tell me, what can I give you? Anything you want, up to half my kingdom. Your Majesty, mm -hmm. I hope you will be pleased to let me live. Please spare my people. It has been ordered that we be wiped out. What? Oh, the candles. Who dares do such a thing? It was him, Haman. What? I, 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 I would never. You, 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 Jewish. I, 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 I didn't. I, how could I know? I, this, this is just a misunderstanding. Why are you little? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, oh. Gods, seize this no, man. No, 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 oh, drat. I decree that all your people be spared. Oh, hooray! Thank you, God. Hmm. Esther had a purpose, and because of her bravery, she was able to fulfill that purpose and save her people from the wicked Haman. The end. That is an epic story, Kellen. Isn't it? Yeah, God used her to save a whole nation. Now that's what I call purpose. <laughs> yeah, and we all have that same opportunity. To save an entire nation? No! Well, I don't know, maybe. That's what's so exciting. God put us all exactly where we are and made us all so unique. Who knows how you may impact the world? Man, that is inspiring. Very cool, Kellen. Thank you. You got it. See you guys. Well, now I've just got to figure out what my purpose is. Because it's apparently not mouth noises. Maybe not, but I mean, come on. I know some of your purposes. Really? Yeah, I mean, you're funny. You're a good friend. And, and you help share the mysteries of God with, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of people every week. Millions? Sure, why not? And you've got one other purpose that I can think of. What's that? It's to reveal the question. Oh, yeah. What do you think your purpose could be? Mm. That's a cool question, because you all have one. Yeah, and the sky's the limit. It could be anything. Just 
Think about how God has wired you and, and see what you come up with. Or ask someone else who knows you really well. Hey, ask God too. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, but whatever you think it is, we hope you have fun talking about it. Yeah, until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and this was The, the So and So Show. Hope you enjoyed the so-and-so show, and I really hope to see you all Sunday night in the church parking lot from 6 to 7 for some free Kona ice. Miss you guys. See you Sunday.